गुड इवनिंग सर टुडे वी लिव इन एन एरा ऑफ ओवर स्टिमुलेशन वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली अटैच टू आर मोबाइल फोन्स एंड मिलीनियल्स नाउ डेज हैविंग इशूज लाइक दे आर वेरी मच अटैच डूइंग डूम स्क्रोलिंग ऑन देर फोन डूम स्क्रोलिंग लाइक द अटैच टू द मोबाइल फोन एंड जस्ट स्क्रोलिंग डाउन एंड सो माई क्वेश्चन इज this thing is affecting uh, leading us to develop many kind of ocd problems and anxiety issues so how can we cope up with this uh, tech induced thing which we are facing do not have so much of spare free time that's all i mean you you work till 11 pm then you eat something then you crash to bed and you know that you have to get up at 6 in the morning because something very important awaits you how will you have the time or the energy to what did you say doom scroll doom scrolling yeah that's nice doom scroll how will you have uh, the space how will you even have the desire to do all that all that is only when you are uh, quite unoccupied hmm? do not leave yourself unoccupied remaining purposeless is only for those who are close to perfection having free time is only for those who are inwardly free if you are not inwardly free and you give yourself free time your free time will annihilate you freedom is only for the free inwardly you are still slave to your body your hormones to all the social influences and outwardly you have been gifted a free mobile phone hmm free data a free bed to lie on and a lot of free time so obviously all these free things that have undeservedly come to you will be misutilized hmm? now that these things are indeed with you uh, tell yourself they can be very dangerous live a life of uh, a challenging purpose don't think that leisure time is a is a virtue if you have free time you should be alerted you should have more tasks than your time allows it is it is the weight of those tasks that will keep you on track if you give yourself <clears throat> undeserved freedom that's the worst thing you can give to yourself remain humble know what you deserve and what you do not we do not deserve all these leisures and luxuries we instead need a task master if you can be internally disciplined if you can be your own task master wonderful else appoint yourself a task master go to someone fall at his feet and beg him to drive you with a whip i know all this will sound quite obnoxious to all the free minds here i have to actually go to someone and ask him to lash me with a whip yes that's what you must do do we deserve to be our own masters that should be our desire and our destiny but unfortunately that's not our fact if you are given freedom you are bound to misuse it because it's like giving freedom and power and authority to a drunken one 
freedom should be first a thing of within and only then a thing in your hands. Otherwise the results are catastrophic, doom scrolling. Huh? Think of this person. The, the mobile phone is actually a very sophisticated computer, right? That you're holding in your hand. It's a, it's, it's the, it's a very fine product of man's mind. And who is holding it? A beast. Is that not the case? 99.99% users of the mobile phone, do they know a thing about the phone? Do they know? Except for the user interface, what do they know of? But they have it in their palm as if it's something so ordinary, so cheap. And economics of scale is indeed providing that, that wonder of technology to you at very cheap rates. Hmm? Left to yourself, how many years will you take to make that mobile phone? How many years? Okay, how many centuries? How many millennia? Left to yourself, how long will you by yourself create that mobile phone? Never. Now that's the problem. We have received almost for free something so precious. And that's the gift of science. But we don't respect science. We don't respect science. That, that mobile phone comes from a certain sophistication of mind. It is a product of intelligence. But we respect neither sophistication nor intelligence. So a very sophisticated thing has been given to a rather crude fellow. And what does he do? Doom scroll. Doom scroll. So that's what he will do. A scientist is not going to do that. The fellow who makes the chip is not going to do that. The fellow who is constantly endeavoring to discover is not going to do that. The inventor is not going to do that because he is busy with inventing. Obviously. But the fellow who gets it almost for free will be watching all kinds of rubbish on the phone and, and continuously for hours on end. Do you see this? Huh? We live in a peculiar state. We are beasts within, but have been gifted greatly sophisticated technology. So the gorilla is walking around with a computer. And is flying an aircraft. Obviously he'll bomb the whole earth to destruction. Internally, he's just a gorilla. And gorillas we all are. Gorillas with bombs, with phones, with computers, with all kinds of sophisticated technologies, satellites, missiles, you name it. And all these are in the hands of the gorilla. gorilla. And the gorilla is all puffed up. See, I have this, I have that. What does he do? Nothing. The earth is closer to destruction today than it ever was in its history. More than 70% of internet traffic is for destructive or wasteful purposes. In an ideal world, only those who have the sophistication of science in their minds should be licensed to use the products of science. Those who are gorillas within should be allowed the life of only a gorilla. They should be left to the jungle because that's where they belong. 
See, inwardly you are already a gorilla. So we are packing you off to your native habitat. Go and live on the treetop. That's where you belong. You don't deserve to fly on a jumbo jet. Even to, even to hold a computer or even to speak into this mic, I must first of all have a, a determination, a dedication, a love for intelligence, for knowledge, for realization, for discovery. I must have a spirit of inquiry. Only then I deserve to use all these things, no? Is that not fair? I hate inquiry. I am a deeply superstitious person. And yet I am using all the blessings of science. That is not fair. That is not fair. You should get what you are. Is that all?